Hello, this is Keir from Zenforo. One of the central elements of any platform that uses user-generated content is the experience of using the text editor. Everything has one, and depending on the complexity of the content that needs to be provided by your users, it may be a simple text box, or it might be a full-fledged HTML editor. Zenforo needs something somewhere in between, as we allow some degree of formatting, uh, insertion of images, etc. But we figured that it's time for a change for our editor because I'm a bit fed up of seeing something that looks like a copy of Microsoft Word just splurged onto an HTML page. It doesn't restyle particularly well, it sticks out, it doesn't look like the rest of the system. I really don't like it very much at all. And so we've changed it. We wanted to get rid of the word processor style toolbar. We wanted to change the way that the file attachment system worked, and we wanted to completely reimagine the way that previewing worked. I'll go into those in a while, but uh, let's go and take a look at the new version. So here's the new editor. You'll see at first glance that it's a lot prettier. It's uh, more in keeping with the styling of the normal Zenforo inputs, and that we don't have that distinct toolbar. It's uh, got a, a much more subtle styling that will actually respond much better to any custom styling or custom coloring that uh, you might put into your own site. So let's take a look at these button groups. We've currently got them organized into a text formatting, paragraph formatting, insertion and tools set of groups. And uh, you can see that on this first group, I've got bold and italic, which are very commonly used. This one is font size. And then I can use this little gadget here to open up an additional toolbar underneath, which has the control switch of overflowed. More about that later. Uh, this one is paragraph formatting. Here I've got things like uh, individual normal heading and heading two stuff, list insertion, alignment, and under there we've got the other controls that you'll be familiar with. And then we have our rich insertion. Uh, we've got some duplicate icons in there, but uh, this is a work in progress at the moment. And finally, we have our, our tools here uh, with the undo and the switch to the BB code editor. So let's see them in action. I'll just uh, paste in a bit of text there and uh, set some of this stuff to not that, but maybe this. And uh, then I can come in there and change the text color perhaps. And uh, everything's working nicely. So you might notice that as I'm clicking around, this little gadget appears. And it appears whenever I have uh, a new blank line. So let me show you what would happen if I uh, click away and then click straight in. It, it appears for straight away. Uh, it disappears as soon as I start typing, but when I enter a new blank line, it appears again. And from here, we have what's called the quick insert menu. And from here, I can insert commonly used things. So let's do uh, an ordered list and um, type some rubbish in there. And by using the quick insert menu, things that you might often have to reach up to the toolbar to grab are kept at your fingertips. It appears wherever you, uh, you are in the document. Um, so it should be relatively convenient. And uh, at some point, you're gonna be able to customize exactly what appears in the quick insert menu. Uh, I must confess that at this point, it's hard coded, but by the time you get to use it, it'll be customizable through the button manager. Speaking of the button manager, the updated button manager no longer looks like this, where we had individual um, settings for a large, small, medium, and extra small toolbar. Uh, and we used vertical and horizontal spaces to arrange our buttons. The new toolbar, this is the 2.2 version, has the same concept of a tray up here with um, your individual uh, drop-down inputs, but we now show your four separate groups down in uh, four separate drop targets. So I can go in here and uh, add one of my test buttons um, you'll notice that it's not complaining um, about duplicate items because the editor no longer worries about duplicate items. So if you wanted to put, for example, uh, the remove formatting button into the tools menu and into the text formatting menu, you can do that without it moaning at you. So uh, I think this is how Zenfora 2.1 was arranged. Then you just have to hit save on that and away you go. You've probably noticed at this point that um, down below the screen, is a live preview, which is currently a little bit 
broken because we're working on the wrapping there. Um, but if I rearrange any of this stuff, you'll see that the live preview immediately updates to show you exactly what is going on here. Now I mentioned previously that when you're in the uh, button editor, you can control how many of these will be shown before the uh, remainder of the icons are dumped into the overflow toolbar or the, the more toolbar. And the way you control that is with this context menu here. So at the moment, I've told this to have four visible buttons. And so we've got four visible buttons before we open up into the more text item. But if I come into here and shrink that down, you'll see that we instantly see a, an updated version. And uh, if I would save that and refresh over here, I'd see the, uh, the same thing reflected there. Um, I should mention at this point that we've also changed the thresholds that the different toolbars are shown at. So if you've used this before, you'll remember that there's a large, medium, small and extra small toolbar, but we've changed the thresholds at which they activate. The next thing I want to show you is some of the changes to the underlying editor code and BB code rendering that we've made uh, so that the editor is a little bit more interactive. So if I were to dump some text in there, this is the stuff we worked on earlier and then maybe hit reply on this post, you'll notice that we now get a version of the actual rendered content that that quote is going to finally use, uh, which is unlike the old Zen 402.1 system where it would uh, show you something, I'll show you exactly what it would show you. It would show you something in quote tags. That's not very, what you see is what you get. So these days with 2.2, we show you the actual quote markup. So the preview system is now contained within a tab rather than a button below the uh, next to the post reply button for reasons that aren't really clear uh, until you go back and look at how it worked in Zen 402.1 and before that. So let's switch back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reply to this in a new tab. Now, here we go. I've opened up an editor and I've got the previous post in there. And now I'm going to attach a file. Let's just have one and that jumps in here. And now I'm going to hit preview. And at this point, the preview sits between the editor and the rest of the control. So if I now want to insert that thumbnail or a full image for that matter, I've got to come all the way back up here, work out where the editor is, set my cursor in place and then come back down and insert it. Now it will jump me back up to the correct place, but wouldn't it be nice if I could have seen the attachment and the editor in the same page without having to scroll between them. So in the new editor, we have the preview set as a tab. Um, what this does is it will change your editor context to what we call preview context. And you'll see exactly what you uh, are looking at in the editor, but in the preview, it doesn't take up more space and it simply deactivates the editor and switches it into preview mode so that you can see exactly what you've got. And you can see that the, um, the rendering is pretty identical to what you were looking at while you were editing. Or you can switch back to the uh, regular editor mode or switch into uh, BB code mode if you really wanted to. And either way, we can preview it from there. So let's take a look at the new and improved attachment system for Zen 402.2. Uh, one of the issues that uh, 2.1 had was that, uh, where have we put it? Oh, it's here. Um, when we were dealing with the vertical height provided by the preview, we also had issues with vertical height being added by the attachment stacking vertically. Um, so if you had a very large number of attachments, this in itself could prevent the perhaps the bottom attachment from being shown on the same screen or viewport as the editor. So we figured that had to change and uh, we've made a new interface for that. So if we hit on attach files here and attach all of those as we did before, we now get a little square rendering of each one, which horizontally scrolls. So you're never going to find that your attachment pushes the editor out of the viewport. On each one of these, we now have the ability to insert either a thumbnail or a full image. Let's insert a thumbnail here, 
shrink it up a bit and set it to a line left and then we'll take maybe this one and insert it as a thumbnail and align it right and shrink it down no, that didn't take there we go and in this way we have a much more easy to use um, system that keeps everything within the viewport the preview and clearly works as it did before and we have a new system for multi-selection so let me just get rid of those again um, sometimes you might want to do some do the same thing to multiple items at the same time we just switch into selection mode pick up the items we want and then we could maybe delete all those uh, or we could do something like insert each one as a thumbnail and there it is now I want to show you one other thing uh, which you might have spotted earlier um, I'm going to add some more attachments again let's uh, have these ones back again and I'm going to insert this one as a thumbnail just as I did before align it left and shrink it up now one thing that I've noticed when I've been writing these have you seen posts or editing the ones that I've edited is that it's been difficult to float stuff and then have a reasonable idea of where the next item is going to turn up so we have actually in, uh, added paragraph formatting so if I come up here and just add some more let's add a heading thing and set it to be heading 2 and you'll see that that automatically adds clearing uh, because it, this is floated left in order to remove the floating and have stuff appear below it we need to clear the floats so headings are a very useful way to clear floats the final thing I want to show you is one more element that we've added to help with clearing floats uh, you can see it here it's a horizontal rule so let's simply uh, set one of these up here and get it ready to float we'll float that one right and you can see that uh, this has started to flow around the floating which is fine that's uh, how it would normally be intended but if I wanted to prevent that I could just insert a horizontal rule and now it's not floating there anymore nice